All right, so a couple updates to the Unity calculator here. We have uh, not changed anything over here. All the uh, numbers have stayed the same for milestones. And a couple of things have changed on the uh, point value columns over here. Uh, so the first thing is um, you can actually buy the orbs for 450 cores a piece. Uh, so I saw that in the store. I don't know how I missed that the first day, but that is a thing. So if you buy them there, you can track them here. Uh, given the issues with the zero drop option in the shards, Fox next decided to compensate us with two full orbs. So you can add that here. So yeah, we got we to gotta sell for that. Um, the blitz milestones give you two orbs total. So that would be two characters at two orbs is four that we will get throughout the event for free. Uh, so that'll help you figure that into this calculation. And what I've also done is I've updated the shard tracker. So if you'd like, you can just estimate your own blitz wins per day. Uh, but by just overriding this cell, you can also uh, estimate your frags per day if you'd like. Uh, but if you'd like to use the frag tracker that I've created here, uh, the cool thing is you can put your drops in uh, as much as you like. And here, let me refresh here real quick. Let's just take a sec. Um, I've added a couple of features here. So this is a really cool idea from a guy named iGap on the uh, Tahiti server, was adding these point buttons. So like, let's say I got a 50 drop, which I just did. I will hit the button and what it'll do is it'll run a, a, a function in the, the script editor that will iterate these counts or the counts for the specific uh, section by one. So see that? So it updates it by one. So if you'd rather hit a button than filling in the numbers, you can do that now. Um, you do have to copy that in and then you have to copy in these function iterations. Okay. So what that means is you have to go into tools and then go into script editor and just scroll down to the bottom and copy and paste this whole block of information. So the top of this is just uh, information. So you'd grab from here and uh, copy all of these. These match uh, existing cells in the sheet S4 through S9 and what happens is it's telling it directly to go pull the current number from you know S4 add one to it and then overwrite it in that cell that's all it is it's a really simple function and each one of these buttons is assigned to each one of these uh, payout options and so those are your shard fragments so what I'm doing is I'm trying to calculate the total drop rate chances for the shards in the blitz right so as we go through it and we learn you know more information about what the drop rates can be and get more information uh, it's kind of neat to see how it has changed versus what it was prior to the fix that happened today so the fix today had frag drops uh, at zero which was apparently incorrect and they meant to make that 100 and what I was getting was 20% of the of my drops were zeros uh, nearly 60% were 50s, uh, about 10 to 12% were 150s, and then 7% were 375s, and about 1 to 2% for the thousands and 2000s. I may have gotten a little extra lucky here, but over time this would probably average down a little bit further. What that gives me is a 117 shards per win on average. Uh, I was I hit 140 total wins in the last 24 hours prior to the fix, and so that was 140 wins a day, right? I got 16,000 shards out of that, or eight orbs for that day. So that's pretty good running, uh, not bad at all. And uh, I wanted to save that data though. I didn't want this to be included in the fixed data. So I separated it, copied it down here. If you would like to do the same, go ahead. Uh, if you know what that is, you may have to go back in your Google Sheet history in order to find what it was before seven o'clock. Uh, but you could save that here because I think this is interesting. The drop rates here are much lower than what I've been getting up here. So the average shards right now that I'm getting is 93, but I haven't had any of the mega drops yet. So one of these could easily skew it over a hundred and maybe it'll get me closer to that 117 average that I was getting before. But again, we don't know. We don't know if they tweaked all this stuff. I find it very odd that the hundred drop is right now near 70%, which is much higher than what I was getting before. Maybe it'll drop down more as I get more data, but right now this is a very small uh, subset of data. So it's very anecdotal at this moment, and I don't want to make any broad assumptions yet uh, until I get more information and until I get more iterations. Um, so that's what I've done. The other thing is, is I've done it since the update, right? So this is this is just since the update was fixed and added the 100 drop. 
Uh, I also updated the time since frag update, right? So I added a day to the blitz start time of 6.23 instead of it being 6.22. So just FYI, if you're using all of yours with the zeros still included, uh, you may want to change this back to 6.22 because you're going to be including that data from prior to the fix. Um, but this is how you get your days calculated since you know X date. So right now we're 0.24 days since the update at 7 p.m. Central Time on 6.23, which is today. Uh, for the next five minutes at least. <laughs> and then that works into your average wins per day, which is going to help you get your project projected numbers to understand like how many orbs you can expect to get, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, this is just meant to be predictive for helping you understand where you're going to fall in the uh, orbs milestone, because there are quite a few over here that are very high uh, high numbers, and you're gonna need a lot of orbs to get there. So right now, my current rate is projecting me to get about 44 orbs total, including the ones from Milestones, including the ones from the event, um, the Creative Differences event, and also the two from the Compensation. I haven't bought any, I haven't bought any with cores, right? But 44 only gets me to milestone 25, which is just the mutant tier 14s. It does get me three orbs from getting the skill ones, right? And, you know, another three from, or four from getting the mystic, right? So if I want to, I could figure out, well, you know, if I commit, you know, 1,000 or 1,500 cores or something to this, I could get some more. Um, so think about that too. If you're projected to only get, you know, 40 total orbs, maybe you want to spend some and get some more orbs, spend some cores to get some and uh, fill in the rest. But, or just spend more time blitzing, you know, it's up to you. So the other cool thing that I'm doing here is I just added this because we've been talking about drop rates for, um, for the different, um, for the different shard types, right? So we have 50, 100, 150, and all that. What I did was I created a sheet tonight called Crowdsource in here. And I've only got one person so far that sent me their info, but I just literally did this right before the stream started. What I'm looking at here is I've created uh, my own, right? So I've got my own rates here. And these are going to update as I update mine. And then uh, Chronolink sent me his friend's spreadsheet who is tracking his drops. And you can see he included the... Um, I think he included all of his drops, not just the ones since the fix, which is fine. Uh, or at least that's why I'm calling it all shard drops. But to get this information, we're putting it all in one sheet. And what I'm doing is I'm actually referencing his specific Google document. So if you're tracking this in a Google sheet and you make it uh, viewable to the public and you send me the link, I can pull the unique value from your link. And I can do an import range function to pull that in and specifically pull the data for those uh, those cells and drop it in here. And if we get enough people to do this, we can get a lot of good data and we can actually figure out what the percentages are from a much higher level rather than just me doing it by myself and getting just really anecdotal data. So it'd be really neat to see what other people's drop rates are coming up as and how we're getting there and exactly you know how how accurate we're being right do we have any outliers that are you know getting like seven you know two thousand drops instead of the rest of us getting like one or two <laughs> so you never know um we might be able to find some interesting information in there uh but for right now that's that's the uh the big changes that i've made um so far in my very first rotation i got an enormous amount of 100 drops and a couple of 50s and a couple of uh 150s and then nothing else um, so I know the 375s and 1000s and 2000s still exist, uh, but I didn't get any in my first, you know, 23 iterations. But that's how, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. No big deal. But in any case, that's where we're at. Uh, if you have any other ideas on cool things to do for this uh, for this event or things to track, uh, please let me know. I do like this whole crowdsource idea to track drop rates and information. Um, and then what I want to do is after I get a few more people, I want to build some charts and graphs uh, based on the ag aggregated data in order to show like, you know, how much um, percentage variance we have and what the actual like average drop rates are for each amount. And then we could also use this to track different shard drop rates from event to event. So uh, it's pretty cool. Um, if you'd like a link to uh, to this one, uh, spreadsheet, I can uh, pull it for you real quick. Uh, let me let me grab it here. I got it somewhere. 
Uh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, there it is. But all you have to do, and here. <laughs> so, uh, all you have to do is just go into this Unity Milestones tab, which is directly linked there in the chat, and I'll put it in the video description and stuff. Uh, click on the little drop down arrow here. I hope you can see this. Oh, no, you can't. Um, let me bring this up a little bit. And there we go. See this little arrow right here? You click on that and you say uh, copy to, and you say existing or new spreadsheet, and you can copy it to, to a sheet on your drive. So you don't have to copy all like 25 different tabs and all the stuff that I have because that would just take a long time. And I, I don't think you need all that. But if you just copy the Unity Milestones one, you can use that and then send me your sheet. Even if that's the only thing you copy, just say to a new spreadsheet of your own and um, start tracking it and then just send me the info. Uh, just make sure when you go to share, you uh, make it so that uh, everybody can see it. So that's that's the other thing is you got to make sure that people can see it publicly. Otherwise, I can't connect to it. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you don't feel like using the buttons here, you can just manually enter the numbers. These are actually hard-coded numbers, right? So all, all the script is doing is just replacing them with the plus one. So if you just feel like, oh, I got 650s just now, I could put 12 here, right? But really, I've only got six. But you can update it manually as well and just track it that way. But if you'd like to, just DM me my, uh, my name, or my, I'll put my Discord name in the uh, chat. Uh, and I'll put it in the description. Uh, send me a message with your link and make sure it's viewable and uh, I'll add you to the crowdsource street spreadsheet and we'll see if we can get this rolling. So uh, please let me know if you got any questions or ideas on things to make it better and uh, we'll just keep on working on these milestones and having fun with these crazy negasonic orbs. So thanks for watching. <laughs>